Hi there, this is uh, Shrikan Dasari. So in this uh, lesson, uh, we are going to learn about uh, so how to uh, declare uh, array of structures and initialize uh, uh, that array of structures at the time of uh, declaration. Okay. So in the last lesson, we have uh, uh, learned about the syntax, uh, uh, how to uh, uh, create an array of structures and uh, initialize uh, uh, that structure uh, or else uh, fill, the uh, fill that array of structures uh, with the data given from the user as input from the keyboard. Okay. So first, let me launch the IDE. So we know that we are using a Visual C++ 2005 solution. So first, let me create a new project here. So let us say. Uh, so whatever you wanted, uh, I am saying that struct array, struct array two, okay. Uh, create a new source file in the source files directory, struct array dot c. Okay. So let me add uh, all the basic stuff like header files and so on. So before that, let's have a comment. Initialize. The array of structures, array of struct structure uh, at the time of declaration. Okay, the time of declaration. So that's what we are going to do in this uh, very basic tutorial. So let me add all the basic stuff like table files, hash include. So studioiv.h. So hash include conio.h void main so the basic stuff and followed by the get cx to make our cons output stands it okay okay so we're good to go so if you run this uh, small tiny little program nothing happens just displace the output screen here okay so let us take the structure here uh, so our structure yet again uh, we are taking our student structure once again so as we are using the student structure in all our other examples also Struct type def struct student. Uh, let me say two here uh, in order to define uh, 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 the variables for that structure in uh, shorter length. So let us have some uh, members for our structure like uh, the very common uh, roll number or ID, whatever you wanted. Roll number and every typical student consists of a name, a twenty, and let's every typical student consists of a percentage. Here. Okay. So let's say percentage in the form of float uh, erc. Okay. So we are done with our structure definition. If we come back to our main, let's create a new uh, array of structures here. So since we have learned about the syntax, so followed by the structure name or type def uh, equivalent, followed by the structure variable and the size of the size of the array here. Okay. So here uh, we have taken this syntax uh, to define uh, array of structures here. Okay. So this is going to be our uh, array of structures declaration. So array of structure. Okay, so five uh, students uh, or five uh, students data uh, we are going to maintain here. So let's write a definition of our structure, a comment here. So definition of student structure. Okay, so now what we are going to uh, do is we are going to initialize this structure uh, right at the time of the declaration uh, rather than uh, taking filling up uh, the structure data or structure members with data given from the user input here. Okay. So to do that, uh, we need to follow a good syntax here. So, so that syntax is going to be like this. First uh, curly brace followed by another curly brace. So first we need to look at what is the first uh, data member in our structure. So the first data member in our structure is going to be uh, a roll number. So first we are going to initialize the roll number here like this here. Okay, so roll number followed by the name. So let me give some name here. Let's, let me say my name is Rikan and followed by some sort of uh, percentage and close the curly brace and comma hit and enter okay so if you follow this to avoid confusion uh, if you follow this uh, pretty neat syntax here so you will not run into troubles here okay so the second uh, initialization is going to be like this two let's say it says two whatever you wanted the roll number based on your uh, programs or program need and you can say some good name like satish okay so these are all the uh, typical sounding indian names <laughs> Uh, so percentage, uh, let's say he had secured 85 percentage in his uh, examination. Okay, so let's put another comma, hit enter, 
and let's take another uh, structure definition it's going uh, to the beginning since that uh, the id is made up of that kind of formatting here okay so three let's name it as alex uh, he has caught maybe some 90 percent uh, in his examination let's assume okay so the next one uh, since we have taken uh, five different students uh, let's let, next let's take uh, another uh, uh, initialization and another uh, uh, row of data or record uh, let's say four let's say smith okay and now let's say uh, uh, 89 so whatever you want it uh, okay and the last but not the least uh, let's take the one last thing uh, as an assignment statement here uh, you know one last record since we have taken five different students uh, five and let's say some uh, angelic huh? whatever the name uh, uh, sounding name might be a restaurant rest name okay so let's say she has got some uh, 67 percentage okay so now we are done with our uh, uh, syntax of our uh, uh, initialization of our uh, structure with all the uh, five, five rows of data here okay so here we have taken uh, an array of structures so, so initially uh, it's going to be like this let's have a comment here uh, to have a clear picture so since we have already uh, learned about how an uh, in internally so how an array of structures is going to be stored something like this here okay so here it uh, uh, becomes like this so, so uh, internally it takes like s of 0 and s of 1 and s of uh, and s of 2 and s of 3 sorry s of 3 and finally s of here okay so internally uh, it stores uh, every record whatever you have fed uh, through this initialization syntax uh, so first record uh, obviously goes stored in this uh, subscript of zero subscript here okay since we have taken uh, five uh, uh, array of structures here okay so five structures uh, so array of the count of or the size of our uh, structure array is going to be five so internally the, since the index starts from zero in c uh, for any array so it starts from 0 and it takes until 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 here, okay. So 4 different, uh, so 4 variables total with include combined with 0, we have 5 records here. So internally, so each and every individual record uh, gets stored into this uh, syntax here, okay. So if you have any doubt, uh, so if you uh, use our, uh, make use of our printf statement uh, to retrieve any data, so until now we have stored a total of 5 uh, records uh, in this, in our structure array. So let's say, uh, let's uh, print out the first, sorry, last student's name, okay. So let's say, excuse me. So now if you want to print uh, uh, the last student's name, so you can follow, uh, you can make use of that, that array subscript variable and you can achieve that uh, task here, okay. So let's say uh, the name of student 5. Uh, let's say I'm assuming that it's fifth student directly uh, is equal to uh, percentage yes uh, s of four dot name okay so if we say something like this uh, so if everything goes fine let me run the program once okay so we have got some uh, mistake uh, so zero one two three four s of four dot uh, name so you should get uh, <laughs> what a silly mistake I have done I have used uh, percentage yes is D instead of percentage yes here okay so here you get uh, Angelica uh, the, which is the fifth student's name so let me uh, increase the font size a bit such that is everything is clear to you okay so name so student by is Angelica okay so in the same way uh, you can get uh, whatever the data you can retrieve from your uh, uh, array of structures there okay so if one you can say something like this the roll number roll number of student 2 okay so if you want the roll number of student 2 you can say something like this percentage t um, percentage t uh, s of 2 so roll number 2 means uh, 0 1 okay so student 2 means uh, 1 uh, 1 index uh, since the error st index start from 0 so you can say something like this 1 dot roll number okay so if you say something like this you get uh, the roll number of student 2 uh, as 2 here okay so if you run it once again so you get as 2 here okay so now uh, let's make use of our uh, for loop uh, i'm just uh, uh, 
commenting about these statements i'm just i will just make use of the for loop and i'll print the entire uh, uh, initialization uh, into one uh, section here okay so in, into one in, in one uh, role okay so i'm taking a for loop here so for int i is equal to 0 uh, i less than uh, 5 and i plus plus okay uh, so let's say so print if uh, slash and slash t okay uh, let's say uh, the data of uh, or else directly let's say uh, record percentage t comma i plus one here okay since we are uh, taking the uh, loop uh, run from zero to uh, one less than the one less than five or zero to zero to four i am taking this uh, to print the exact count and using the cypress one here okay so record one record two like that you will get the output here okay so record one let's have some uh, dot dots and comma here okay so dot dots and comma okay so uh, let's say now uh, let's print all the details so using uh, making use of for loop uh, makes our life easier uh, than ever slash n and slash t slash t slash t let's say the name is equal to first let's print the name the name is equal to percentage yes uh, comma uh, as of uh, as of i dot name okay so since we have uh, studied about this syntax uh, we need to use this uh, subscript uh, variable uh, in order to print that exact uh, uh, data which is stored in that uh, array subscript here okay array index uh, if i'm not uh, wrong uh, printf again let's say uh, slash n slash t slash t slash t such that it moves uh, uh, to certain amount of tab spaces uh, uh, under the record here okay so the roll number so is equal to percentage t so s of i dot uh, roll number okay so we are just printing the name uh, roll number and followed by the percentage slash n slash t slash t the percentage is equal to the percentage is equal to percentage f okay since we have took it in a float if i remember okay now s of i dot p as here okay so i have just uh, uh, make you made use of this for loop and i am just displaying all the contents uh, let's get rid of this comments also so they are unnecessary here okay so i have just took uh, the for loop and made uh, by using the for loop i have just outputted all the uh, whatever the structure array uh, uh, we have initialized using our uh, normal syntax how to initialize the structure okay so if you run our program uh, so everything goes well <laughs> let me get rid of those uh, jargon here i used a couple of slashes here okay so if you run it uh, everything is clear here um, slash n slash n slash t one slash t is machine such that it's look awful okay so if you observe here uh, record one uh, so whatever we have stored inside the record one if we assume that each uh, index as a record uh, we have stored a, a certain specific uh, uh, data uh, under each record here so like uh, row number uh, although we have followed the order we need to follow the order while you are initializing the structure so while printing the data uh, or retrieving the data from the each individual index uh, index of the structure, you need to uh, you can use uh, any or a certain order here. Okay, so that's the reason. Uh, even though you initialize the row number uh, one and name followed by the percentage, so here I am using uh, you know, that uh, uh, violating that syntax and I have just printed uh, the first name. The each record is getting printed here using the making use of for loop. Okay, so the first record consists of data as string count as name and one as row number. And percentage uh, as 75 and the second record uh, consists of Satish if you observe here so that's what we have initialized uh, and 85 as percentage and this row number is 2 and so on and so forth until all the five records here. okay so this is the way uh, to take uh, to, to take a structure array of structures uh, initialize uh, that array of structures and making use of our loop. Uh, you can print uh, that array of structures here okay so see you in the next lesson goodbye